right. Thanks for the call. Let's go to Memphis, Tennessee. Caller, you disagree with the president. Well, um, basically, if my balls itch, should I scratch them? All right, thanks. Los Angeles, California. Good morning. Hello. I'm 20 years old. I live in Los Angeles. I'm a student at um, a college locally. And I have not known evil in the world till George Bush took office. I can't even stand looking at the man. It's amazing. It's these war hawks. It's, it's Rumsfeld. I, you know, if I was to pick someone who's going to be the Antichrist, who's going to suck a bunch of dick and lick my ass. Last call this morning is from uh, Jersey City, New Jersey. Yeah, how you doing? I agree with Bush. I agreed with the war. But rather than invading Iraq, what we should have done is to nuke the fucking... And that will be the last call on this comment. Tom Scully. First call up for Jerry Cameras from Newport, Rhode Island. You're on the air. Fuck clear channel. We'll move on to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Next up is uh, Havelock, North Carolina. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, good morning. I'm a, I'm a Republican. I'm 18 years old. Mm -hmm. and I'm a, I just want to speak my view right here. Go right ahead. All right. I live between two major Marine Corps bases, Camp Lejeune and Cherry Point. And I think Bush is one of the best presidents we got right now, simply because the war on the fucking... The war on and the front page of this morning's uh, New York Times, military... We were sitting down discussing at dinner about... I was excited about Edwards being on the ticket and bringing integrity back to the White House, and we were discussing family values. And I said, so, son, um, what do you think about Dick Cheney? I asked him this exact question. Do you think that Bush would have a better chance of being reelected if he got someone new other than Cheney? And my son said to me, Dad, why don't you go fuck yourself? Carmel, Indiana, supporter of President Bush. Harry. Reno, Nevada, good morning. You're on with Glenn Johnson. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, Mr. Johnson, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I love George Bush because he loves to blow shit up, first of all. Thanks, caller. Let's go to Elizabethville, Pennsylvania. You're on the air. Please go ahead. On the other side of the issue is a uh, call from uh, Flat Rock, Flat Rock, Michigan. Is that correct? Flat Rock? Yes, I'm um, Flat Rock Remit. Uh, you are on the air saying pass the bill. Hi. Yes, um, indeed, it must be passed because... If it is not passed, who is to protect Monica Lewinsky from getting a cum shot to her? We won't get into that. The point is, the Electoral College was set up by the Founding Fathers, who, if you very, hear very faint high-speed drill noise, that's the Founding Fathers spinning in their grave, okay? This country has been taken over by the religious right and has been put a traitor in the frickin' White House now for five years. Then, sir, why did you call in the Republican line? Because that's I wanted to point out... Okay. You know, we, we don't care what your opinion is. We just care that you call on the right line. So, um, All right, thanks. Philadelphia, good morning. What do you say? Good morning. Mark Harris is a homo. Let's go to... Um, as far as finances go, I think we can do it. I mean, Phoenix is a, is a huge fucking... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, we'll let you go at that point. Uh, move on to the light rail <laughs> process. Of part in the well, uh, I, I'm a strong supporter of uh, light rail. I used to be a Democrat, voted for everyone Democratic, but to be a loyal Democrat today, <clears throat> you would have to agree that it's okay for a president to lie, to commit perjury, to obstruct justice, and to subvert the, uh, the uh, legal system, the judicial system, uh, as long as it's, it's for something, I guess, more forgivable, like uh, some blowjobs in the Oval Office. Uh, next telephone call is from uh, Lake Placid, Florida. Go Los Angeles, California. Yes, good morning. I saw that video that you showed. I mean, did you see her wild eyes and hair and, and, and the buck teeth? I, I swear I thought that she looked like a, uh, an aging prostitute or something going up, to the, going up to the Capitol. I mean, if I was that guard, I probably would have thrown her she wasn't wearing uh, her badge. I probably would have thrown it to the ground. She looks like a crack whore. Atlanta, Georgia. Sir, we're talking about Sudan. What do you have to say about that? Sudan? Yeah. I say burn his ass. Brian, you, you do it. Knoxville, Tennessee. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, this 
analogy is it's it's an ideolo- ideological war on both sides. So basically, I'm bullshitting, and what I have to say okay. has nothing to do with it. Thank you for the call. Next is Orlando, Florida, Republican line. Good morning. Hi, how are you this morning? Fine, thanks. All right, I was just wondering, where the fuck are your tits? Uh, next telephone call is from Holidays Columbus, Ohio, on the Republican line. Good morning. As I said, this channel's a piece of shit. Our first call comes from Green Bay, Michigan, on our line for Republicans. We're talking about campaign 2008, and where do you get your news? Uh, hey, uh, I get my news mainly from Wikipedia. I'm sorry, Wikipedia. Uh, a whole bunch of things from Wikipedia, though. The problem is that... Uh, why do you Chown, prefer that website? Well, I prefer... Well, actually, here's why. Chown, he isn't here. Uh, I'm not gay, but Vips will fuck a guy in the ass. Okay, we'll move on to Viff Lake, Michigan, Democrats line. Where do you get your news? Appreciate it. Houston, Texas, thank you for calling. Hello? You're on the air. Um, I would like to say that I think the vice president's role in the U.S. is to help protect the people. And um, uh, the, I guess the only other thing I could say is to uh, suck the president's cock. There is also this piece in the Washington Post uh, today. Excerpt. Next phone call is from Mississippi. Uh, Aberdeen is the town, and you're on. Go ahead. Good morning. Hey, Cutie. How are you doing? Good morning. What do you have to say? Well, I just wanted to say, I was just wondering as to whether or not you felt that uh, every terrorist had a big penis. Next telephone call is from Murfreesboro, North Carolina, Republican line. You're on the air. Best way to fight Al-Qaeda. Well, I'm Thank you. Healdsburg, California, your thoughts on Bob Graham's thoughts about letting regions pick the candidates? What do you think? Yeah, uh, I'm from Healdsburg. I'd just first like to say thank you for a C-SPAN. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, I'm not entirely sure that... This is a great idea because we've always had the state system and I just think that a lot of problems will occur with this because of the differences in our societies. Like in uh, the western coast, people have large breasts and in the eastern coast, large dicks. Let's go to Denville, New Jersey. Your thoughts on this? Denville, you there? Fort Lauderdale, Republican. Hi. Actually, my cousin has been in active duty and twice, you know, in Iraq, and they still do the same exact, like, nothing is being changed. I just don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to make these changes with these sand nickers, son of a bitch. Melbourne, Florida, Democrat, you're on the air. Bridgeport, Connecticut, Republican line for Megan McArdle. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. McArdle, uh, what percent of the time would you say you fuck on the... Sorry, let's move on to the next uh, call from Little Rock, Arkansas. Go ahead, please. Uh, hi, um, how are you today, ma'am? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, are you a values voter, and what does that mean to you? Houston, you're on the air. Fuck you, yeah. We're going to move on to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. You're on the air. Hi, uh, I'm a values voter. I believe in American values. And uh, one of the values that I am voting on this year is I'm afraid of the toys coming from China, and I'm afraid of robots. For that reason, I'm voting for Stephen Colbert for president. Thank you. Dunwoody, Georgia, you're on the air. Republican. All right, thanks for your phone call this morning. Nashville, Tennessee, Republican line, you're up. Hello, I'm on the air. You are. You want to... We'll move on next to uh, Oceanside, California, Independent line. Our next call comes from Baltimore, Maryland, on our line for Republicans. Yeah, hi, I'm a first-time caller. Um, I have a question about inspections. Have you inspected uh, your balls lately? Our next call is going to come from Alaska. Can I... One more call from Abilene, Texas. Go ahead. Caller, go uh, ahead. Yeah. yeah, so I was just wondering where you got the name of firecrotch.org. We'll end it there. <laughs> uh, any other thoughts on politics as far as the remainder of uh, this camp presidential season? Caller, if you're with us, turn the volume down in your set. Yes, I'm here. Go ahead with your comment. Oh, uh, fuck. We'll go to Akron, Ohio. Good morning to you. Apologize for that outburst. Yeah. Let's go to uh, St. Pasquale, California on a Republican line. Go ahead. You're on the air. 
Hi, am I on there? You are. Oh, okay. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Oh, all right. Well, uh, I just uh, was calling to say that I disagree with the uh, little ladies who called before about Obama. Hello? Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, okay. And uh, I would just like to say fuck. Let's go to Cleo, Minnesota. Cleo, Minnesota on our Democrats line. Go ahead. Wesley is joining us from West Palm Beach in Florida. Republican line, good morning. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to say that Congress is in a clusterfuck of... Pre we'll go on to Mike from Warren, Michigan. We apologize for that once in a while. Some people get through and uh, the profanity gets out and we apologize. We don't... Um, we have no place for that here. So, Wesley, please... Uh, Mike, please go ahead. Denver, Colorado. Republican line. John, good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, I'm just strongly against it in the Supreme Court. Fuck these niggers. I don't Denver, Colorado. Uh, that, that was John on a Republican line, and uh, don't appreciate the uh, use of the language. Tampa, Florida, you're next. Thomas, go ahead on uh, yes, Democrats' uh, line. Yes. I don't even know what we got to worry about with them sheep hanging over their faces. I don't even know if they can see what they're shooting at. But, I mean, the Al-Qaeda structure is simply um, Obama, the next one that's going to take over. And I would just like to say, fuck. Okay. I apologize for that. I feared that he was going to say that. From time to time, people get mm -hmm. through with uh, profanities. Uh, this is not the place for that kind of language. Go elsewhere. Uh, don't waste your time here on C-SPAN. Let's move on to the next call. Chris, join uh, Rocky, Sel Shelton, Co Connecticut. Uh, Republican line. Go ahead. Hi, am I on? You are. Go ahead. Hi, I would just like to talk about how my dick is huge as fuck, and I love uh, Russell, Houston, Texas, Democrats line. Potomac, Maryland. Good morning to Greg on our opposed line. Greg, you're next. Uh, hey there. How you doing? Hey. Um, hi. So, oh, Go ahead. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Um, can you hear me there? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, good. Glad you can hear me. Okay, this is my first time calling in, C-SPAN. I was almost thinking you didn't even take real calls. So I say we really, really get on here. But um, I'm happy you took my call. Um, first time calling in, like I said, I want to bend you over. Like uh, Tyler, Texas is where Bob is on our opposed line. Bob. All right, Patrick, Mount Airy, Maryland, Independent. Hi, Patrick. Hello. Um, I'd like to talk about Roy Moore and... I don't know why these women don't just say that uh, he exposed himself and he had a tiny little. Moving on to Dave, Washington, D.C., independent. <laughs> uh, if you want to call us, uh, we've divided the lines for those of you in the Eastern Central time zones and the Mountain Pacific time zones. In North Carolina, in Pittsburgh, Clarence starts us off this morning talking about face masks. Clarence, good morning. All right. Good morning, Pedro. I think that they should be a requirement if you want to go out somewhere. I mean, I wear them to protect myself and to protect others. And if you want to go to the grocery store, I mean, if you like it or not, that's going to help. That's how you're going to protect yourself and protect others. Now, I haven't gone to work in a while. I'm actually a male stripper. I work at a local gay bar. Uh, I we'll know people to, that haven't been. <laughs> we'll go to Ronnie in Irving, Texas. Ronnie. Jeff in Davison, Michigan. Good morning. You're next. Yeah, usually, um, so when I donate, I usually donate to Howard Stern and Baba Boo. All right, Jim in Atlanta, Georgia, you're next. Good morning. Let's go to Maxine, who's calling from Chicago. Maxine, good morning. Yeah, hello? You can hear me all, all good? Yes, I can. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, I want to say I'm not terribly concerned about the way China hosting the Olympic Games. Um I think that, you know, if you, like, like the previous caller said, we have to look at our own self. And I think that uh, China, you know, they are going to be our enemy for the 21st century. I know yesterday you guys spoke about Russia, and I think one of your callers was correct about saying that they're no longer our, our biggest problem. Um, but I think if we're going to fight China, it's not at the Olympics. It's at places like the Spratly Islands. But I, I actually do i am going to watch the Olympics for one thing. Um, I have a personal friend who does skiing. Uh, his name is uh, Howard Stern and Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern. All right, to Jack in West Virginia. Go ahead. Hello. Good morning, Jack. Go ahead. Good morning. Um, I think it can all be solved by Howard Stern and Baba Booey. To Berlin, Maryland. Mark's uh, on the line. 